as there's a drive in a deep left field by Castellanos. Just a bit outside. He's, He's out. Bautista got the worst of that exchange. And what happens here? Joe. He's a human tornado. Hey, everyone. It's Val. Today, we're talking about one of the most controversial players in baseball, Trevor Bauer, someone we just talked about in our last video. Remember? The one we talked about his unemployment status? Anyway, this dude has been making waves for years, from his unconventional training methods to his outspoken personality. And after being what seems to be blacklisted by MLB, he's now taking his talents to Japan. It was just announced that Bauer has signed a one-year, $4 million deal to play for the Yokohama Dina Bay Stars of the Nippon Professional Baseball, or NPB League. Konnichiwa, bitches, and let the fun begin. Am I right? Now, if you're aware of Bauer, you know that he's been a vocal critic of the MLB's unwritten rules and the league's tendency to stifle individuality. He's always been about expressing yourself on the field, whether it's through celebrations or personalized gear. And in Japan, where baseball is all about unique traditions and quirky rituals, my opinion is that Bauer sees this an opportunity to rediscover the joy of the game without the shadows of the MLB watching over him. Baseball in Japan is a cultural phenomenon, man. It's not just a sport, it's a symbol of national pride and a source of entertainment. Fans are known for their dedication, singing chants and cheering throughout the game. Plus, the games themselves are often filled with unique traditions, like fireworks displays, food vendors, and post-game celebrations. And the NPB has been gaining popularity worldwide, with some pretty impressive numbers. The NPB had over 1.3 billion viewers in 2021 and an attendance of nearly 22 million in 2022. Trevor Bauer's signing with the Yokohama Dine Bay Stars comes at an exciting time for the league as they continue to gain traction globally. And Bauer's outspoken nature and love of the game will undoubtedly make him a fan favorite in Japan. Now, Bauer's move to Japan doesn't mean he's done with the MLB. In fact, his contract with the Bay Stars reportedly includes an opt-out clause, which would allow him to return to the MLB in the middle of the season if a team is interested. But for now, Bauer is focused on his new adventure in Japan. So what does this mean for baseball fans around the world? Well, for one thing, it means we're going to see a lot more of Bauer's outspoken personality and celebrations, if you have any connection to watch Japan's sports media. Ahem, we may or may not be covering that soon, so make sure to follow along for the ride. But it also means we're going to see some really exciting baseball from a player who's all about bringing the fun back to the game. I mean, some people might view his move to Japan as a step backward, but I believe Bauer sees it as an opportunity to continue his crusade for a more exciting brand of baseball. And as he continues to make headlines with his controversial takes and unconventional training methods, it's clear that he's not afraid to shake things up in the world of baseball. So there you have it, folks, the story of Trevor Bauer's journey to Japan and what it means for baseball fans everywhere. Whether he succeeds or fails, one thing is for certain. Trevor Bauer is a player who always leaves it all on the field. And for fans of the sport, that means there's never a dull moment when Bauer is around. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This has been your Daily Dip, and I've been Val Dipkin.